And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Norwich City up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, they've had their fair share of difficulties in front of their own fans for whatever reason, but the fact remains they possess the worst home record in the league. Yeah, just the one win so far, and it's certainly cause for concern, Derek. The fans are starting to ask questions of the players and the manager, not at all happy with the performances, and rightly so. It just can't continue like this. They need a better display today. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre-forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And so the battle commences. Crisp tackling. He's in with a chance. It's got to be. Josh Sargent. Pookie. Aarons. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And let's give credit to the defending. Ramsey has it. Matt Target. Leon Bailey. Thank you. Well, they couldn't keep it. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Sergeant. And continues his run. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Takes save and a goal! Now they've broken through, 1-0 here. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. on with that tackle McLean Grant Hanley with it oh far from the ideal pass Ramsey has it well no stopping him Oh, it might be. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. A 
Well, they're going for the short one. Cutting the ball back. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, couldn't pull them level. Well, they certainly should be level. That was a great opportunity to score. He's protecting it well. Marvellous Nakamba. Oh, could be. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. They favoured a short one here. They're putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Well, as those stats confirm, Norwich have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Marvellous Nakamba. And he's through here. Pivotal moment defensively. Well, half time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Makes the move to the inside. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Ramsey has it. Leon Bailey. Well, possibilities in the centre. Untidy in possession. McLean, not advantage with them, referee says play on, a sloppy pass, so two minutes to be added on at the end, space afforded him, Emiliano Buendia, could play it in, an effective challenge, well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. Well, he really read that brilliantly. A very effective clearance. So there goes the half-time whistle, and you might say a bit of a turn-up for the books based on the hosts' very poor home record, Stuart. 
Well, it's been a fast improvement compared to recent performances here. It's obviously far from over, but you can just see how much it's lifted the crowd. They probably didn't come here expecting too much. I'm looking forward to the second 45 now. Hopefully they can maintain this level. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Oh, should have done so much better from there. And the emphasis is on creativity. Emiliano Buendia and dispossessed Rashica How can he take them on and beat them? Well you've got to classify that as a poor attempt a long way wide And time for the change now. Number 11, Ollie Watkins. To be replaced by number 20, Danny Ames. In behind for him to chase. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Ramsey has it. Won it back. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Puki. And sloppy in possession. Well, that's the stats show us. Aston Villa have had most of the play, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Now they're into the final half hour. Ings. It's there for him. And that's the way to keep the ball out of the net. Well, he doesn't get enough on it, does he? That's too easy for the goalkeeper, I think. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Giving the ball away. Bailey. Ramsey. Ramsey has it. Ings. On attacking possibilities. Well, he's given it away. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. So a personnel change then. Number 10, Emiliano Buendia, to be replaced by number 15, Bertrand Traore. Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Matt Target, possession one. Good work to regain possession. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? All in all, a broken counter attack. Ben Gibson. Norman. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Substitution time it is. He goes short. Playing with purpose and control. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Lovely first touch, that wasn't easy. Matthias Norman. This looks interesting. Decent position. There's Malou. And blocked for now. The cross is on. Can he finish them off? Oh, great save to keep them in it. Well, that's a brilliant save, and it just gives them that little bit of hope now. Substitution time it is here. Corner kick played in. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Esri Konsa, John McGinn, Ings, an effective challenge, well that's how to beat your opponent, and you're breathing a sigh of relief, ball one, Traore, Esri Konsa, Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Ings. McGinn. And play halted, free kick given. It's full-time here, the referee blows the whistle. Three points for Norwich City and their supporters. How would you sum this up? Well, Derek, it just shows that if you play the game at high tempo, make it difficult for the opposition and get the ball forward early, you'll eventually get the space to show your quality. And that's exactly what they did today.